Welcome to the Silk Road Project. This is how we're going to finish up. You're going to build one of these, and it's called an Adobe Voice. You're going to be doing it on the iPad. The deal is, you started the Silk Road Project, when you created a character, and your character traveled along the Silk Road. And after you looked and analyzed some documents, you took some of those pieces from those documents and you put it into your character's journal writing, creating historical fiction. Well, now you're going to record your journals onto a track exactly like this. So, here's an example for the beginning of the journal that I created. Try not to be too quick. Chang'an, April 5th, 200. It is cold and foggy, and I'd like to get started. But that Han official, I doubt he's even gotten up. He hasn't started, and we can't start our journey without him. He needs to accompany us all the way on our journey towards the west and the setting sun. If you ask me, Pai Lin, the Han official, is not to be trusted. But we must take him along. It is a thousand miles to Don Wang, where we will exchange our horses for camels, and then another two thousand miles through desert to Maraconda. The merchants have loaded down the horses with silk and porcelain, bunches of paper for trade. I hope to trade some orange seeds for my grandfather's orange tree. Maybe I could get some spices that I could sell on the Mediterranean. But that might be all I can get. Some Indian spices. It's hard to be a soldier. The road will be long, and in another week, we will need to fear bandits. I hear last month, Queen Nas Gang raided a party and left 40 tied to a tree, all holding their own heads. Oh, here's that shiftless Pai Lin. It is time to go. I will write again. As you can see, my journal entry was a lot of fun to create. And all I needed to do was put in three or four historical references from the document that we viewed. On top of that, I could add as much as I wanted to a story and create a story of my own. You're going to be using a program called Adobe Voice. Adobe Voice is really easy to use using the iPad, but it'll take a little bit getting used to. One of the things you have to remember is every time you hit the button, you're going to record. So try not to record, re record over something you really like. One of the things that you're going to have to do is download pictures. This is really easy from Adobe Voice, but I have attached some pictures to the thing link that just might help you if you're looking for some. Learning new skills is really hard. Let's face it, every time you learn a new computer program, something's bound to go wrong. The key is just take a deep breath, think about what went wrong, and go back and fix it.